So what we're going to focus on for today is doing and working on our values. So you want to use a pen for this. You're not going to use a pencil. So if you have an ultra fine Sharpie, like a Sharpie pen, for instance, or if you have the super small, like ultra fine Sharpies like this, this would also work. If you don't have either one of those, then just use a black pen. It'll be okay as well. So what we're going to be doing is focusing on adding continuous lines throughout. I and mean, this is going to be a little slow, um, so don't try to rush through this. But we're going to work on adding in lines to show the values of our tree. So one of the ways I like to do this is if I focus on exaggerating it a little bit for you at the beginning. So as I'm working, I like to think about the lines of bark. So the lines of bark to me kind of work, and I'm going to focus on right here, I think. And they kind of work up and down in a continuous kind of sort of line. So if I pull that in a little closer, you can kind of see what that's going to look like. So as I'm working on this, I also want to focus on making sure that I'm continuing and I'm also thinking about um, my value throughout. So for instance, right here, I'm thinking it's going to be a little bit darker. So instead of just leaving that as is, I'm actually going to switch, I think, to the Sharpie, the ultra fine Sharpie instead. I think it'll be a little bit easier to see. I'm going to make my lines a little tighter together. So that way, you will it will appear darker along that side just like it does like that and then as i'm thinking about it flowing down once again i'm going to maybe add some lines in there i'm going to then once i get so far i'm going to think about spacing them out some Adding a little bit more lines in there. If you have both the Sharpie pen and the Sharpie, it might even be kind of a neat thing to use both a little bit. There are going to be some places where I will start and stop my lines, just so I can have better control of them. But if I think about exaggerating this, on my surface right here and this is just paper so don't it's not my desktop but if I exaggerate the lines that I'm doing so you can kind of see it it looks like this a little bit of like fluid lines meaning soft and then some that are angled so if you think about that so it's kind of a, con a constant line and again that's pretty um, fluid I like to think about bark as being, you know, kind of jaggedy at times. So my line's kind of continuous. So if I were to do this super fast, right, when I have a tree, that might be also what I would see, something like this. And if I had darker areas, I might just work on some of those coming in a little bit more. But obviously I can't go super fast with this and I can't go this big. So when I start to work, Again, if I bring that closer, you can kind of see my lines a little bit there as I'm working. So as I, as I work, I'm thinking about, you know, what's kind of going on, where, it's, where are these all at, um, where are these lines kind of going. So again, um, I, if you, I would highly suggest looking at the images that are in the assignment and kind of trying to copy those same values that you see and trying to work on that. And again, they're zoomed in pictures of these, um, of the lines. And so that way you can kind of see that a little bit clearly. So for instance, on this part right here, and again, my distance is a little bit thicker. So I think really quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this one line. And I'm going to change that just a little bit. So it's a little thinner. That, there we go. All right. So if I look at this one section, it's light right around here. Again, it's catching some light. So I'm going to leave that area open. And I'm just going to start to add in some of my, again, my lines. 
And I want these lines to be a little bit lighter over on this side as well. Again, this is catching shadow over here. So I'm thinking about trying to leave that open, grabbing in some lines. And as I do that, again, um, I'm trying to also try to keep it continuous. It's a little hard for me. I have a very good tendency to kind of want to lift my pencil constantly, or my marker in this case. So I am trying to really make sure, even if I start and stop, I'm starting right back up from where I left off. So again, I'm, as I'm looking at that reference picture, I'm trying to copy exactly what I see there in terms of those values on the tree. We're just working and trying to enter those in. So again, you can see right now, because I have this side darker, right? This side right now is lighter. But it doesn't look like there's anything there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in along the side over here and add in a lot more line, a little bit, a little bit tighter together. So that way this begins to look like a shadow part and it really helps to pop out those details of the highlights that I'm trying to showcase too. So not only are we thinking about texture, we're thinking about value. And so this is why this um, example of like this practice will be really good for us to learn a little bit more about how pen works, but then also learning about texture and how we can apply that with pen um, when we are working. So again, you can see how, as I am working that continuous again, you can see the detail that's starting to develop there because I have left that. So I'm just gonna keep continue to focus on the bottom of my tree. So even though I lifted up my pencil, again, that's okay. So once in a while, so now I wanna to start to work on making this a little bit bigger. I wanna get my lines to look like it's lighter here. And then same thing over here, I'm gonna make it darker. So when I do make it, when I'm focusing on making it darker, I'm also working on putting in smaller lines because I do notice that if I put smaller lines in, then it becomes a little bit easier for me to um, make that value appear a lot darker. So when I start to want to make it lighter, I start to space out my lines some and allow my Sharpie to kind of do the work. Again, I'm leaving that one space open for right now. I'm going to come back to it. I'm just not ready to do it yet. So, actually, I think I can do it now. So, I'm gonna, I want this to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to give it just only one big line, I think, something like that. Hopefully, that's going to start to then give a pretty good illusion. So, maybe I'm going to add in a couple lines in here just to throw that off a little bit. So again, just by adding a little bit more line, you can see how, again, that's going to look a little bit different there. So your focus today is to get, you know, again, the main trunk of the tree to get the lines in there. Don't worry so much necessarily about um, all the branches yet. We're going to look at that uh, tomorrow. But as you're working again, you can see that this is going to take a little bit of time. You definitely need to be thinking about your lines. So do not try to rush this. And as you're working and figuring that out, think about, again, how you can show texture while also showing value as you do this.